okay, here's October 21st, 8 o'clock at night in Lahaina, Hawaii. The problem that I have with this, I two things. One, I'd rather you not get married when the sun is in the sixth house right here and Uranus on the ascendant. That's not very stable. Oh, I don't like that. we got to get that off. Does it have to be at eight o'clock? Um, you can always take your vows earlier, but there's October 2nd, October 3rd. So I like Venus in the seventh and at least on this one you get the moon this is october 5th you get the moon in the fifth house which is awesome and it's playful but this is a lot of hard work but i like how this is now getting off the ascendant so that's nice so let's keep going um scorpio moon mm, i'm gonna like a sagittarius moon here um, I like October 9th. This is at least far away from the ascendant, so that's good. Um, and the ruler, the chart ruler is in the house of marriage. So October 9th looks good. Um, it looks like we're going to get stuck with a sixth house sun. That's okay, because we've got this blessing and we have nothing in the eighth. So that's good. So I like the ninth. Um... I don't think I can say the 10th at 8 o'clock because then you get the moon in the house of death. So, and here's a Capricorn moon coming for you, which is going to square all this. Um, and it's going to get close to Pluto, so I'm probably not going to like these days. And then I don't like the moon next to Saturn, and we don't want a moon in Aquarius. Let's look at Pisces. This could be dreamy. Well, let me go back because this works with the sun. So October 14th is doable because it's far enough away from Saturn. It conjuncts Jupiter and it's in harmony with all this Libra um, and it's in the 10th house. So I like this. And then you get the, these extra planets in the fifth. So I'd like October 14th, October 15th. Um, I think I'm going, it's doable. I think I'm gonna like the 16th better. Yep, because you get the beautiful, glorious moon Neptune and it's wide, but still in harmony with the rising. Um, it's just that we've got a square with the moon and Venus. So it's doable. I, I mean, I would choose it if I had to. Um, Okay, and October 17th, that now we're getting into your Gemini Ascendant, which I like better. Um, and you still get Venus in the 7th, which is good. And I don't mind Chiron on the moon. This this is kind of lovely, actually. And I like Jupiter in the 10th. And I like this Jupiter with the sun. And I like the air. So I like the 17th. Um the 18th, that's a full moon. So no and no. And Uranus and the moon never in the 12th. The 20th is not an option. Um, I'd be a no. And that's a no. Okay, the 23rd. I like that. Moon on the ascendant. North node. Um, it goes well with this. Mars and Mercury. We've got a Scorpio sun in the fifth. Okay, it lightens up the Scorpio, but we still get Sag Venus. And I like that. I think that's beautiful. So October 23rd, I like. I like the 24th. Um, and the Scorpio Gemini goes with you. I like the moon Saturn. Moon Jupiter, I should say. Um, I like the North Node on the Ascendant. I would choose that. Okay, I love this. Scorpio sun and a Cancer moon and a wide Neptune. That's very sensitive. October 25th, I like. I like this Neptune moon and Scorpio wide. This is sweet. That's October 26th, I like. October 
seventh. Um, Saturn opposing the moon. I don't think I'd pick the 27th. 28th, a Leo moon. Who doesn't love a Leo moon? Um, mm, I don't like that moon opposing Saturn, but I'm going to like it now. I'm going to like it right now, October 29th. Yep, because it gets off of Saturn. It opposes Jupiter. That's okay. And it's in this great harmony with Venus. And it likes the rising. And it gets along with this. This is great. October 29th is a great day. October 30th, Virgo moon. Mm. I don't know. That's going to be a square to the ascendant and a square to Venus. So, I don't know. Mm-mm. I don't want to pick that. Okay. So those are my favorite days in October. I hope that helps.